Welcome to the Philippines Premier Motor Show. This is Auto Focus. I am Ray Louis Gamboa. Here are our features on this episode of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market. A compact SUV from Jeep, the Wrangler Sahara, and a subcompact sedan from Volkswagen, the Santana GTS. Plus, a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two subcompact SUVs, the Nissan Kicks e-Power versus the Toyota Corolla Cross Hybrid. On Autopedia, we'll talk about the vehicle's shock absorbers. And together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall also have the highlights of the mini driving experience as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus, and we'll be right back after this short break. Thinking of buying a car but don't know what model you want? Then visit the Autofocus Summer Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival presented by Caltex Philippines on May 4-7 at the SM Mall of Asia Concert Grounds. Get the best deals and test drive the latest models from Ford, GAC, GWM, Honda, Hyundai, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Subaru, Suzuki, Toyota, and WM. The Autofocus Summer Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival, presented by Caltex Philippines. The one-stop shop for the latest car models in cooperation with SM Offices and SM Mall of Asia Complex. Kailangan ng maaasahan, kailangan ng matibay, pang matagalan kasama mo sa pag-unlad ng negosyo, modernong disenyo, kaya-kaya ang cargo mo. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this episode of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Jeep. Up next in our car review, we're checking out the Jeep Wrangler Sahara. In the world of 4x4 Go and Rare vehicles, less than a handful get immediate global recognition from iconic looks that come with a good grab for on- and off-road performance. One such vehicle is the Jeep. There's the goofy grille with the round eyes or headlights and the flat fender flares, the boxy cabin, the flat front windshield that's absolutely retro. Over the years, Jeep has rolled out new models and variants all the while retaining the same basic look, much loved all over the world. One such model is the Jeep Wrangler, a four-door, five-passenger mid-size SUV taking up space on the road that's 4,785mm long, 1,874mm wide, and 1,869mm tall. The look may be called modern retro, but nothing is retro about the exterior and interior accoutrements that make the Jeep Wrangler Sahara a luxurious and comfortable ride and a very capable off-roader. The Wrangler comes with halogen headlamps, incandescent taillights, daytime running lights, center high mount stop lamp, rear fog lamps, powered and heated side view mirrors, wind turn lights. You can easily tell that it's a Jeep Wrangler while parked or coming down the road by just the iconic and anxious design. So there's the Jeep badge as well as the Wrangler decal just to confirm. Standard exterior features include outside tire carrier with spare tire cover, fixed long NAS antenna, non-vented hood, step board and variable intermittent windshield wipers. To tell it's a Jeep Wrangler Sahara, check out the black door handles, exterior mirrors, and fuel filler door, then the body color grille, fender flares, and finally 18 and 7.5 inch polished wheels with gray spokes. And yes, there's a Sahara badge as well. A trail rated badge proclaims the Jeep Wrangler Sahara is more than capable off roader, but one can also tell from the equipment and gear and other exterior features. 
going off-roading need not be all about roughing it, and the Jeep Wrangler Sahara comes with comfort and convenience features expected of high-end SUVs. The leather trim bucket seats for driver and front seat passenger with the Sahara logo are posh and can comfortably hold occupants in place on the drive, on and off paved roads. The leather matches, that which is wrapped around the steering wheel mounted with controls for audio and other functions, the part brake handle, and the gear shift knob. The steering column tilts and telescopes. Slide and recline as well as height and lumbar adjust needs to be done manually by the driver, so does the four-way adjust for front seat passenger. The rear seat for three splits and full 60-40 and features three headrests. The sport bar is fully padded both for looks and safety. The Wrangler Sahara comes with modern amenities, ambient LED interior lighting, 7-inch TFT screen for the instrument cluster, console bin task light, power windows, front and rear dome lights, even the cup holders are illuminated. It also comes with remote keyless entry, push-button start, speed sense and power door locks, automatic headlamps, and air conditioning with auto temperature control. For infotainment, there's the Uconnect 4 with 7-inch touchscreen display, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, built-in navigation, a 9-speaker Alpine system, a media hub with USB data and auxiliary input ports, and two USB ports for charging. The Jeep Wrangler Sahara can be a comfortable ride in the city and the highway, but it is for off-roading. Underneath the hood is a 2-liter inline 4 gasoline DOHE engine that generates 286 horsepower and 400 Nm of torque. The engine is mated to an 8-speed automatic transmission. The powertrain provides more than enough power and torque to ride out rough terrain with judicious use of the Select Track 4-wheel drive system with the Select Speed Control. The system automatically switches from 2-wheel drive to 4-wheel drive depending on driving situations. The system can deliver consistent and effective traction be it in muddy or rocky terrain, as well as ice or snow. The Select Speed Control uses hill descent and hill ascent control to maintain constant vehicle speed when climbing up and down slopes or crawling over irregular terrain, allowing driver to focus more on steering around, over or between obstacles. The Wrangler comes with front and rear multi-link suspension systems meant to make it a very capable off-roader while still providing a stable and comfortable ride on well-paved surfaces. The brake system features this on all four wheels. Jeep equipped the Wrangler Sahara with standard and advanced safety and driving assist technologies that give driver greater confidence on the road. There's the anti-lock four-wheel disc brakes, hydraulic assist brake booster, traction control, and electronic stability control. Parking is made easier with the ParkSense rear camera assist system and Park View rear backup camera. Driver and passengers are kept safe in case of accidents by seatbelts and next-generation front airbags and supplemental front seat side airbags, child seat upper theater anchorage. Added for safety and security are the Sentry key theft deterrent system, entire pressure monitoring display, front passenger seatbelt alert. If you want an all-American off-roader, then the Jeep Wrangler Sahara may have been made for you. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. At the core of Toyota Gazoo Racing lies Motorsports DNA. Combine that with the Philippines' best-selling sedan, you get the Vios GRS. Its black accent details and aero kit upgrade capture the feel and excitement on the track. And the 10-speed CVT that exudes the TGR competitive spirit. On the road or on the track, always be ready for a heart racing exhilarating ride. The Vios GRS. Bring on the thrill. Are you thinking of buying a car but don't know what model you want? Then visit the Autofocus Summer Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival presented by Caltex Philippines on May 4-7 at the SM Mall of Asia Concert Grounds. Get the best deals and test drive a wide range of the newest models, all in one venue. The Autofocus Summer Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival presented by Caltex Philippines. The one-stop shop for the latest car models in cooperation with SM offices and SM Mall of Asia Complex. Ready?
Welcome back to Auto Focus. We now have the latest auto industry news. Isuzu Philippines Corporation rolled out the newly refreshed Isuzu D Max and New X at a music festival at the Alabang Town Center in Muntinlupa. We are here at the first ever Isuzu Summer Music Festival in Alabang Town Center, where we officially launched the latest edition of the Isuzu D Max and the Isuzu Buick. It's the summer season and we wanted to give Filipino families an entertaining summer weekend full of good music, good food and fun activities for every member of the family to enjoy alongside the display of our well-loved family vehicles. Aside from displaying the refresh Isuzu D-Max and New X and live performances from well-loved OPM artists, Isuzu Summer Music Festival featured free test drives, afternoon games, a dog show and car club meetups. The new Isuzu Mi X boasts a more premium and elegant look with its sleek two-tone front grille that has a magnetite and black chrome accent, coupled with its new 20-inch alloy wheels for a more upscale and classier vibe. Sporting a new Norwegian body color, the new Mi X elevates the family experience with its new smart power tailgate with step sensors, which allows owner to open and close its tailgate automatically without having to put down the baggage and taking the car key out. So on top of that, any family vehicle is not complete without the best safety features. And with the new Mu X, you can get a 5-star safety with its active and passive safety features as well as the advanced driver assist system or ADAS with Smart Duo Cam so your family can be assured to have a more comfortable and safer drive going to your destination. The D-MAX has always been bold and sporty by design, built to face the challenges on the road. Now with its latest addition, our customers gets to enjoy its new two-tone front grille, matched with its new matte dark gray 18-inch alloy wheels. We also introduce a new color, Isla Gray, which will be available for LSE and LSA variants of the Isuzu D-MAX. And just like the new Mio X, the new D-MAX is equipped with ADAS with Smart Duo Cam for 5-star safety, making every journey and weekend adventure secure no matter what type of road you take. Our new Isuzu D-MAX and the Mio X are available in all Isuzu dealerships nationwide. So if we want to close our look and the first-hand driving experience with those two Isuzu vehicles, Please visit the nearest Isuzu dealer showroom. Motolite and the Federation of Philippine Industries have signed a memorandum of agreement to promote and implement the Balik Bateria program to ensure used lead acid batteries or U labs are disposed of and recycled properly. The MO was signed by FBI Chairman Jesus L. Aranza and Oriental and Motolite Marketing Corporation Marketing Head Alexander M. Osayas. As part of this uh, agreement, this uh, MOA that we have signed, FBI will encourage members and partner organizations through their huge network to donate their ULAB to FBI. FBI in, in turn will sell their collected ULAB to OMMC, which is Motolite, at current fair market prices. They will use their funds to fund, actually, uh, FBI's projects and <coughs> many advocacies. Motolite, on its part, will arrange for the pickup of ULAB. It will purchase it from FBI. Once purchased, we will handle that, transport it, and store it, which is important. It can't just be done by anyone because it is classified as hazardous waste. So it requires people who know what they're doing to be able to handle and store it. And then we will have that new lab recycled by our accredited recycler, which is ERI or Evergreen. The agreement to promote the Balik Bateria program goes beyond recycling and the protection of the environment. FPA also seeks to put a stop to illegal export of U-Labs while helping the local battery recycling industry to grow and prosper. The fact is, there is that ban. The law says that if uh, the country has a recycling uh, operations or plant, Bawal na ho ang mag-export. 
Why? Because you have to help the industry finance their operations. Gusto rin namin na mabuhay ang recycling dito sa ating bansa upang sa ganun, we will not be part of yung mga toxic pollute, pollutant in the country. The Balik Patere program ensures used car batteries, which are considered hazardous waste, do not end up in landfills, rivers, and creeks. At the same time, lead and plastic pellets and other recycled materials from new labs are used to manufacture new batteries. So if we look at the components of a lead-acid battery, each and every component of that lead-acid battery can be reused. So the lead can be refined and reused back to new lead-acid batteries. Plastics, 100% of it could be recycled as well. The electrolytes can be neutralized and the byproducts produced are also used. It's either on the battery manufacturing itself or allied uh, services like cement industry. Those are the latest news and developments in the automotive industry. We shall take another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. Thinking of buying a car but don't know what model you want? Then visit the Autofocus Summer Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival presented by Caltex Philippines on May 4-7 at the SM Mall of Asia Concert Grounds. Get the best deals and test drive the latest models from Ford, GAC, GWM, Honda, Hyundai, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Subaru, Suzuki, Toyota, and WM. The Autofocus Summer Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival, presented by Caltex Philippines. The one-stop shop for the latest car models in cooperation with SM offices and SM Mall of Asia Complex. Who said happiness can only be found on the ground? Next generation Ford Ranger. Do the undone. Reserve yours now on Ford.com.ph or at your nearest Ford dealer. Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Here's our comparison of the latest automobile models belong to the same category on Head to Head. This edition of Head to Head pits two subcompact SUVs with non traditional powertrains the Nissan Kicks e Power and the Toyota Corolla Cross Hybrid in a spec to spec comparison. In these times of high fuel prices, buyers now put more weight on the fuel efficiency of the vehicles they acquire. And more and more people are looking at vehicles with non traditional powertrains, hybrid engines that combine electric motors and internal combustion engines. Automakers and distributors are now including more hybrid vehicles in their lineups. Nissan has rolled out the all-new Kicks e-Power. Toyota offers a Corolla Cross variant with hybrid powertrain. The all-new Nissan Kicks e-Power VL is 4,300mm long, 1,760mm wide, and 1,650mm tall, with a 2,620mm long wheelbase and clears the ground by 180mm. The Toyota Corolla Cross is longer at 4,460mm, wider at 1,825mm, and just a bit taller at 1,620mm, but sits closer to the ground at 161mm. The exterior of the Nissan Kicks e-Power features black double V motion grille, sharply angled LED headlights with daylight running lights, LED signature tail lamps, body color inside view mirror with turn light indicators and auto fold and power adjust function, body color door handles and eye key switch, silver roof rails, two-speed variable intermittent front windshield wipers and single-speed intermittent rear wipers, and LED high mount stop lamp. The top-of-the-line VL variant also gets front LED fog lamps and auto-on-off headlights. The Kicks e-Power rolls on 7-inch alloy wheels wrapped by 205 55 R17 tires. 
The exterior of the Toyota Color Cross 1.8V hybrid features gun metallic front grille, black and chrome door window frame holding, bi-beam LED headlamps, LED daytime running lights with line guide, LED rear combination lamp, rain sensing wipers, fog lamps, power adjust side view mirrors with auto fold. It rolls on 18 inch alloy wheels with 22550 R18 tires. The cabin of the Kicks e power comes in black leather trim and some soft touch material, with the seats and the wheel upholstered in genuine leather and double stitching. The driver and front passenger benefit from Nissan Zero Gravity front seats that manually slide, recline, and adjust for height. The rear seat splits and folds 60 40. The center console armrest double sets storage. Also wrapped in leather is the steering wheel that tilts and telescopes and comes with controls for audio, hands free phone, and the drive assist display. The Kicks e power instrumentation features a 7 inch TFT display meter and drive computer display for such info as power meter, fuel, drive range, battery charge. Other comfort and convenience features in Kicks e Power Reveal include intelligent key entry, push button engine start stop system, power windows, power door locks, cruise control, and automatic air conditioning. The Corolla Cross Hybrid comes with leather seat with 8 way power seat for driver but only 4 way manual adjust for driver. The rear seat back splits and folds 60 40 to allow for an increase in luggage space that features a tonneau cover. Comfort and convenience features include smart entry system with push button start. Power windows, speed sensing power door locks, drink holders, dual zone automatic climate control system with rear vents, 12 volt accessory socket, two USB portals for rear passengers. The steering wheel has controls for multi information display, the audio system, hands free phone, and adaptive cruise control and lane tracing assist. The infotainment system in the Kicks e Power VL features the Nissan 8 inch advanced touchscreen display audio with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Bluetooth for hands free calling, audio streaming. Type A and Type C USB as well as auxiliary port that plays through six speakers. The Corolla Cross Hybrid infotainment system features 8-inch display, AM FM radio, Bluetooth connectivity, USB ports plus voice command, Apple CarPlay, and added auto and six speakers. The Nissan Kicks e-Power is essentially an electric vehicle with batteries charged by an internal combustion engine. A 349-volt AC synchronous motor powers the wheels using electricity from a lightweight lithium-ion battery that is charged by a 1,198cc 3-cylinder gasoline engine. The system generates 136 PS and 280 Nm of torque. Power and torque is sent to the front wheels by an automatic single-speed gear reduction transmission system. The all-new Nissan Kicks e-Power rides and handles much like other sure-footed and comfortable subcompact SUVs, using suspension that features front struts and rear torsion beams and stabilizer. Stopping power comes from an all-disc brake system, ventilated in front. The hybrid powertrain on the Corolla Cross comprises a 98 horsepower gasoline engine generating 142 Nm of torque, a 72 horsepower electric motor and its continuously variable transmission. Combined, the hybrid engine provides a total output of 122 horsepower. The Corolla Cross suspension uses front McPherson struts and rear torsion beam. It also comes with an all-wheel disc brake system with front disc ventilated. The all-new Nissan Kicks e-Power VL comes with Nissan Intelligent Mobility, a suite of advanced driver assist technologies that make it safer and more convenient to drive. The suite includes intelligent around view monitor and moving object detection, intelligent forward collision warning, intelligent emergency braking, driver intention alert, hill start assist, and the e-pedal step. The VL also comes with SRS airbags for driver and front passenger, side airbags, and curtain shield and rear parking sensors. Standard equipment for safety include 3-point ELR with pretensioner, load limiter and height adjust for driver and front seat passenger, regular 3-point ELRs for those in the rear seat as well as anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution and brake assist, vehicle dynamic control and alarm in the engine immobilizer. The Corolla Cross 1.8 VHV comes in Toyota Safety Sense, a suite of driver assistance systems that include pre-collision system, automatic high beam, lane tracing assist, lane departure assist, and adaptive cruise control. It is also equipped with reverse camera, clearance and back sonar with two sensors in front and four sensors in the rear, a blind spot monitor and rear cross traffic alert. Standard safety features include seven SRS airbags, anti-lock brake system with brake assist and electronic brake force distribution, vehicle stability control with traction control, hill start assist control, ELR seat belts for five, child restraint system with isofix and teether anchors. It also comes with Toyota vehicle security system with immobilizer and alarm. Vehicles like the Nissan Kicks e-Power and the Toyota Corolla Cross 1.8V Hybrid should make the transition toward the electric future of mobility that much faster. Kailangan ng maaasahan Kailangan ng matibay
tibay Pang matagalan kasama mo sa pag-unlad ng negosyo Modernong disenyo, kaya-kaya ang cargo mo Nang tatak na ito Isuzu Trap is level up with Isuzu Level up on yung negosyo Isuzu Trap is level up with Isuzu Level up with Isuzu Trap Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has anti-oxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph Are you thinking of buying a car but don't know what model you want? Then visit the Autofocus Summer Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival presented by Caltex Philippines on May 4-7 at the SM Mall of Asia Concert Grounds. Get the best deals and test drive a wide range of the newest models, all in one venue. The Autofocus Summer Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival, presented by Caltex Philippines. The one-stop shop for the latest car models in cooperation with SM Offices and SM Mall of Asia Complex. Welcome back to Autofocus the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Our special feature is next. The COVID-19 pandemic put a lot of things to stop, including the mini driving experience. Well, that too is now remedied as the mini driving experience made its return at the Clark International Speedway, much to the glee of many owners and select members of media. I am here with the man and the brains behind the mini driving experience, Mr. Willie Titen. Sir, thank you for having us here. Hello, how are you? Very good, sir. <laughs> sir, can you just give the viewers an idea of what exactly the mini uh, driving experience is? Yeah, um, actually, mini is one of the few cars that you would love to take in the track. No? So that's why we always have this uh, mini driving experience, except during the pandemic, we cannot do it. So it's been about three to four years since we had it the last time. So we're so excited to bring the Mini back on the track, as they okay. say. And, and uh, the best way to do the Mini driving experience is here at Clark Speedway. A lot of people don't really know how fast a Mini car is. No? So is this like you know, part of the showcase uh, or to part of your you know, uh, strategy to show people how reliable and how fast a mini car really is. Yes, yes. Actually, people always think that mini is a small car with a small engine. Everybody thinks it's slow, it's dangerous, etc. But um, that's why we have to have this uh, track event because we want to show first that the mini, even with this size, is, is very, very safe. First, so even if you hit another car, it's really, really tough. And second is because of the go-kart wheel. You know, uh, the wheels are far apart from each other. It's always at the end of the, of the front and the rear. So it's a go-kart feeling. That's why, you know, go-karts are always on the track. Same thing with the Mini. You'd love to, to drive it on the track, especially in the curves, you know? It's not on the straights that Mini is powerful with, but especially on the curves where it could outrun almost any car. So it's seldom that you see a straight line anyways in the road, you know? so it's always been curved. So, so we want the people or the, the customers to experience that the Mini is fantastic when it comes to curves. The activities basically we do slalom contest first, get everyone warmed up and 
back to enjoying that nice go-kart handling that the car has. And then after that, we do a guided lapping just to orient them with the track and all the cones and everything. And then for the owners, then at that point, they get the track to themselves. And this car, it felt so much better than, I was like, compared to the previous one that I drove, I, I felt a big improvement in the car. It's when it's more planted, you'll try it later. You'll see what I mean. It feels really sticky and really almost zero body roll. It, it already has good go-kart handling, but it, this is just like more planted and more the like, moment you point, it's there. You know I mean? There's no there's spongy feelings, there's none, zero, non-existent. So it was really, that for me, yeah, that's, that's what I like. Of course, it has also the new stuff like, you know, park assist, warning light, lane, departure warnings and things like that and um, that's beautiful sunroof for the front and the back but for me it was all about the handling the response of the throttle that side of it loved it to all of you out there we have three branches of mini one in bgc one in cebu and one in pampanga please do drop by any of the mini showrooms and test drive our vehicle and I'm sure you're gonna love it the way the, the car handles itself and of course take a look how beautiful the car is it will always give you a smile thank you there you have it Mr. Wheelie P10 sir thank you very much and congratulations thank you The mini driving experience was a fun day at the track, learning or honing performance driving techniques under the tutelage of renowned racer George Ramirez, as well as experience the new free door mini. What do we go for? We go for experience. We go for excitement. We go for sport. We go for style. We go for fun. We go for the Toyota we go. Are you into grassroots racing? Slaloms, autocross, time attacks, and circuit racing. Do you like to keep your daily ride in tip-top condition? Do you want to improve the performance and ride of your vehicle? Then head over to Fix Stop Auto Service along 91 Congressional Avenue, Project 8 in Kazan City. Fix Stop Auto Service can level up the performance and ride of your daily rider weekend racer of all brands, models, and makes from Japanese, American, European, and all other global manufacturers. Fix Stop Auto Service offers preventive maintenance services as well as upgrades of brakes, suspension, and other mechanical works. Fix Stop also caters to all your needs for performance tires and accessories to make your dream vehicle stand out on the road or for just your enjoyment. For appointments, call 0917-803-8283 or message us on our Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash fixstopautoservice. Are you thinking of buying a car but don't know what model you want? Then visit the Autofocus Summer Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival presented by Caltex Philippines on May 4-7 at the SM Mall of Asia Concert Grounds. Get the best deals and test drive the latest models from Ford, GAC, GWM, Honda, Hyundai, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Subaru, Suzuki, Toyota, and WM. The Autofocus Summer Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival presented by Caltex Philippines. The one-stop shop for the latest car models in cooperation with SM offices and SM Mall of Asia Complex. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate as we have our second car review this week. In this edition of Car Review, we check out the Volkswagen Santana GTS. Is it a wagon? Is it a hatch? Does it offer much beyond Volkswagen's engineering and cachet? This 
it a hatchback? Is it a wagon? Does it fall into the subcompact or compact segment? Whatever some believe it is, or whatever segment they place it, the Volkswagen Santana GTS is 4,282mm long, 1,706mm wide, and 1,489mm tall, with a 2,603mm long wheelbase. It has five doors and can sit five and has the design and look that can fit general definitions of either a hatchback or a wagon. Volkswagen takes pride in its German engineering and Teutonic design and Santana GTS certainly manifests both. Those who like the wagon body styling of the Santana GTS will describe it as a classic. Those who don't will call it dated. But what both can agree on is that it's quite functional and practical in look and features, coming as it does with adjustable halogen headlamps, front fog lamps, roof rails, power adjustable outside door mirrors with turn indicators, rear wiper. It also comes with a sunroof. It rolls on 15-inch alloy wheels wrapped by 185-60 R15 tires. The rear door opens up to gain access to the trunk with 372-liter capacity, which can increase to 1,255 liters with rear seats folded. The Santana GTS comes with roomy interiors with good shoulder and legroom in the front and rear seats. The seats come in combination leather fabric upholstery with red stitching or piping, also found on the door trims and the dash. The rear seat back folds 60-40 to provide some flexibility for loading luggage and other gear. The D-Type multifunction and tilt-adjustable steering wheel features controls for such things as the audio system. An armrest lies between the front seats. The driver's seat adjusts six ways. Convenience features include power door locks, power windows, air conditioning with automatic climate control in rear vents, front cup holders, bottle holders on the doors, and power outlets. The Santana GTS comes with an audio system with AM, FM radio, play CD, Bluetooth, aux input, USB, and six speakers. An optional Blaupunkt infotainment system features a 7-inch touchscreen display with mirror link for connecting with smartphones. The Santana GTS offers a driving experience usually expected of VW and other brands with German origins or engineering. It has good, solid, and nimble handling on both city streets and highways. There is enough grunt from the 1.5-liter gasoline engine that generates 110 PS and 150 Nm of torque for safe overtaking and driving on hilly terrain. Power and torque are transmitted to the front wheels via a 6-speed automatic transmission. Volkswagen says the AT adapts to one's driving style at any given time, from leisurely cruising to sporty performance, while also taking road conditions into account. The Santana GTS is rated to go from 0 to 100 km per hour in 12.6 seconds and to reach a top speed of 185 km per hour. The Santana also features blue motion technology that shuts down the engine when the car is stationary and automatically restarts it when about to go. It is meant to improve fuel economy but takes some getting used to. The cabin keeps outside noise quite well, while the suspension system with front McPherson struts and semi-independent composite torsion beams in the rear rides small bumps and road imperfections without drama. The brake system uses front ventilated disc and rear drums. The Santana GTS is equipped with cruise control that should come in handy to stay right on the speed limits on the extra sways. It also comes with standard safety features like anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution and brake assist, front and side airbags, isofix childcare seats, as well as three-point seat belts. Other driving assist systems include the electronic stabilization program. Volkswagen Philippines may have just equipped the Santana GTS with enough up-to-date features and technology to add to its Teutonic heritage and engineering to convince those looking for wagons or hatchbacks to get one. Know more about your car and how to take care of it here on Autopedia. Hi, this is Sydney and today we'll talk about shock absorbers. So this is your vehicle's shock absorber. As the name implies, it absorbs the shock of the bad roads that we have here in the Philippines. Now, old-timers will ask you, and then, ano ba yung shock mo? Fluid or gas? 
wala nang fluid shock ngayon. They're all gas shocks. But here's the thing. Inside here is both gas and fluid. It's called gas shock because up here, there is pressurized nitrogen gas here. But the shock absorption is still done by oil. It's still a fluid. It's just that the old, old shocks don't have any pressurized gas and it's just fluid. So now, it's both gas and fluid. All shocks right now are like that. As you can imagine, this thing goes up and down to absorb the shock. This is actually called a McPherson strut, after, named after the guy who invented it. So what that simply means is that there is a basso here where the spring sits. This bolts on to the axle and the hub, and this bolts to the chassis. So the big question is, how do you know if sira na yung shocks mo? The easiest, fastest, and most sure way to find out, you have to take the shock out of the car to be able to tell if it's busted or not. So here we have two shocks. One is new, one is old. This one is busted and I'll show you why. As you can see, it don't go up no more. Effectively, this thing is not absorbing any shock at all. And we compare it to a new shock. As you can see, it has to go up on its own and it has to go up pretty fast. If it doesn't go up this fast, it's also busted or dead or dying. New, old, dead, alive. You may have heard the old school advice also. You make kalog kalog the car to see if the shocks are okay. That is also not true. And I'll show you why. We have several cars here to demonstrate. The old school wisdom is, if it does that, that the shock is okay. No, not necessarily. Because what you're doing is just pushing down on the spring and it just goes up. What makes the shock goes up is actually the spring. Then we have here another car. It doesn't go up or down. So what does that mean? The shock is busted? No, it's not. BMs are really like that. That's why the handling is good. Uh, here we have a Fortuner. It bounces a lot more than the Ford Explorer. But is the shock dead? No, it's not. It's just really like that. <laughs> so that method doesn't really work. You cannot be certain if your suspension is good or bad just by doing the bounce test. No, because every car behaves differently when you bounce it. So the only real way to know if your shock is good or bad is to have it taken out and then do the press test what I just did. Ano magandang bili na shock? You can always, always buy OEM. You can go to the casa, buy whatever that they're selling, and then call it a day. It is, after all, the same spec as what you have. If you're looking for something cheaper, get one of these, KYB XLG. This is pretty much the same spec as the original shock, but of course at a cheaper price. And chances are, if you have a Japanese car, KYB has an application for it. So this is a front shock. This is a rear shock. This, I believe, is for a Honda Jazz. This, I believe, is for a Lancer. If you want to step up from something better, KYB also has this. It's called a new SR Special. It looks exactly the same as the shock that's going to be taken out. The big difference is what's inside here. This one will actually give a better ride than what you have because, like I said, it's a shock absorber. It's better at absorbing the shock. And there are things that make it slightly better. A bigger and fatter shaft than the original one. The piston inside here is also better than the valving is also slightly different. And this one is built to take lowering springs if your ride is lowered. Because if you put lowering springs on a OEM shock, chances are in less than a year, your shock ain't gonna work no more as well. So might as well get a set of these. And for German cars, there's only one go-to brand. It's Bilstein. That's it. <laughs> So there, hopefully, you have now a better understanding of what your vehicle shock absorber does and how to spot if it's busted. That's our feature in Autopedia this week. Taking care of your ride has been made easier. And that's Autofocus this week. We hope you have found this episode of your Electronic Automobile Magazine informative as well as entertaining. Check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. On behalf of my dad, Butch Gamboa, this has been your host, Ray Louis Gamboa. 
please stay safe and healthy.